Okay, we're going directly to your phone calls with Joel Skousen. I'm Alex Jones, and uh, we are breaking down what's happening in our planet today. Richard in Indiana, thanks for holding here on the air worldwide, Richard. Alex, it is such an honor to speak with you. I'll move as quickly as I can because I know you have a lot of callers, but you've got to just listen to my little story here. We have been following, my wife and I are retired. We have been following what's going on with this country for two and a half years. We just recently started listening to you a few months ago, and we realized, boy, we have been missing a lot of information that you have woken us up to. Normally, we would follow Fox Cable Fox business, and we go, there's something missing. We're not hearing the whole story. We've done our homework, gone and visit the Trilateral Commission, CFR, the Bilderberg Group, and now we know why we don't hear what you're saying on the other networks because Rupert Murdoch's name is right up there with them with the elites. They can't report on any of this stuff. I guess they're bought and sold. Yeah, no, right now they're threatening to uh, throw Glenn Beck out because he's gone too far. And here I am critical of Glenn Beck, mainly because he has a personal thing about threatening guests of his not to come on my show. And, and, and he also tries to keep me off Fox, but I'm, a, I'm not going to go any further because that would reveal sources. So I get mad at Glenn on that front. But overall, he's been really opening some doors to wake people up. And there is major behind the scenes Murdoch taught pressure. He does have Roger Ailes backing, but Roger Ailes is, is ill. And I'm just going to leave it at that. And so the guardian angel of Becky, uh, is fading, uh, at, well, I'm not going to say any more. Uh, but, uh, do you want to comment on what Richard was saying, uh, Joel Skousen? Well, I, you know, I agree with what he's saying. It's nice to see people, you know, credible people coming out and, and, and seeing the difference between uh, night and day. Uh, I might note about Glenn Beck that uh, he, I've got other sources that indicate, you know, he really is beginning to believe in conspiracy in a big way, and that's one of the big problems. Uh, unfortunately, they're able to divert him into the Muslim conspiracy, which really is a neocon fabrication that they are in intent provoking that but it's just a non-issue a real problem is our own government yeah the muslims are usually busy killing each other they're not this big threat he talks about in every case they've been stirred up and funded by the globalist and they've always been used as cannon fodder ever since world war one you know the muslims have done nothing since the fall of the ottoman unless they have had a major globalist world power either russia or the west behind them feeding them arms and and controlling them and that isn't going to change that isn't going to change. And, and the, the, any Arabs and Muslims listening to me ought to wake up to the fact that they're being manipulated and they're being used, and provoked uh, to do these things. And, uh, you know, we're not against them. But uh, I think that uh, the more we pump up this Muslim threat, as the congressional hearings are doing, and as Glenn Beck has been doing, it does us a disservice because that's not the real threat. Well, you noticed last week before he went on vacation, Beck was groveling and talking about how much he loves Fox News and appreciates it. Uh, and, and, I, and I really can't say anymore. I have multiple Fox News sources, but then it almost makes me want to go ahead and just support Beck if, if I know internally they're trying to run him out of there. I mean, if George Soros is threatening and, and Murdoch once is getting mad at Beck and the only guy keeping him there is Roger Ailes, then you got to say, well, Beck must be overall good if the globalists don't like him. Well, let me tell you this, Alex. Beck has driven a lot of people to your website. Yeah, I'm almost sometimes get ashamed that I've attacked him so much, but at the same time, yeah, he's I've driven a lot of people there because he gets them started, just like my uncle. You know, got people started on the Constitution, and then they came further and they realized, no, if Republicans aren't going to save us, we got to go further to the right, and they came up with you know other uh, sources of information. So he is doing a service, and uh, they do want to shut him down eventually. Yeah, well, then what should I do then when he's got a personal thing out for me? I, I guess because I criticized him a little bit over the years, he's just, because this is a fact, Lynn Beck absolutely is trying to block me everywhere. Or does he just see me as business competition? Because I'd love to support him like Ron Paul or support him like Lou Dobbs to a certain extent or support him uh, like... Uh, you know, Judge Napolitano. I mean, I, it's not that he's bigger than me, and so I want to get him because of that. That's not how I operate. Well, you know, Glenn, Glenn just is not uh, capable of taking criticism very well. He's not capable of changing his personality as well. He's a little bit of a, of a loose cannon, and, of course, they like that because it allows MSNBC to, to, 
to take him to task every other week or so. But uh, I think ultimately he has come to the conclusion there really is a conspiracy going. He can't say it. He's conflicted. And he's trying to get at it around the beating around the bush, talking about communism, talking about Muslims without talking about our own government being the And he won't go there. Well, that's my next point, watching him and analyzing him more than I did before, because we were, you know, well, we are making a Tea Party film or a political film it, 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 uh, right now to try to decode all this and this weird combination, you know, that just mixes all this corruption together. But But watching him... His body language when he's talking about eugenics and world government and Fabian socialist, he comes across as real, as powerful. You can tell he feels good about what he's doing. When he does all this Muslim stuff and all this patriot 9-11 bashing stuff, he looks guilty and 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 will and hardly look at the camera. So I am seeing signs of a conscience there. He's not selling the baloney as good as he was before. Now, I think, Alex, frankly, that... Glenn Beck is going to be a force to be reckoned with, even if Fox News dumps him. He'll, he's got such pull that he can get another form, and hopefully he'll be able to be more influenced by our side to understand the reality of conspiracy, even within our own government, because he could be a very powerful force. So I'm just saying, keep the fences open uh, towards yeah. him so that he can come our way. Well, I promise I'm going to go to Desmond, Tim, Ryan, Fred, and maybe even hold you all over longer till I get to at least those calls. But... Something we never really talk about is how are they going to counter us? Because we're an idea. They can't just kill us individually. That would just underline and highlight our information. So they try to assassinate us uh, politically. But it's just like I told Politico a year ago when they were trying to destroy Rand Paul in the Republican primary. They said, well, how, how, how would the government go after Rand Paul? Or, or, or how would they demonize him? And I said, well, you'd have to endorse him. If the mainstream media endorsed him, and they actually printed that, if you endorsed him, then that would hurt him. See, so what is the system going to do when they're demonizing us doesn't work? Well, it only works when they can make us look bad in public. Now, let me just give you a, this is a personal comment from me to Alex here. And uh, I saw you on The View, and I know you were in a time crunch. They didn't want to let you give out information. You were going to get that information out. So you're speaking very rapidly. And, you know, they will want to use that against you in the sense of making you appear to be strained or extreme, etc. I would say our greatest strength, because we have the truth, is to at least get reasonable people to say, I can listen to this guy. I can do that. So whatever you do, my advice is, because you're going to be the target from now on for a long period of time until they destroy you or try to, is whatever you do... Getting the actual truth out isn't nearly as important when you're on mainstream venues as being calm and collected so that they, people come out, hey, they say he's an extremist, but look, he's coming out very rational, what he's saying is true. No, I see your point. I mean, I meant it more as a culture jamming, just jamming the info out there. But, but right. then O'Reilly did pick it up and make fun of me. I mean, they, they certainly thought it was a point against me. Right. I'm just saying it's the image as well as the truth that we need to sell to mainstreams to at least get them to open their mind and say, he isn't, he isn't what they're saying. Look, he's reasonable. He's, he's speaking calmly. Uh, I think that can go a long way. I think you're right with certain audiences. I've always just been myself and, 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 and with the grassroots, the young people, I mean, you know, the guy serving me coffee this morning, he certainly liked it, but, 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 but I do see uh, the perspective you're talking about. Uh, of dealing with more mainline people, uh, you're right, image is important. And, 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 that's, and that's who's watching these shows. I mean, our types are not, uh, they're in there too, but the majority of people who are not on our side yet, and I'm just saying that I've, uh, my experience has been out there because my wife has tried to tutor me for many years about calm down, Joel, a little bit, make it a little easier because that's what gives you the credibility. Yes, you're right. Desmond, Desmond in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Jones, man, it's uh, pretty hard to get on your show. Well, you're here, buddy. I, I just wanted to say that ignorance was never bliss. It was just ubiquitous. Um, and it's, it's strange that uh, Joel just mentioned that image thing, because that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, so again, to the, I'm, I'm still in high school, and when I try and talk to students or teachers or really anyone, 
about like this whole global enslavement thing, they always really have about three reactions towards it. And they'll either try and downplay it and just laugh it off. Um, they'll try and dispute me on like some facts and stuff and get violent about it. Or they'll really just have taken an apathetic approach and all, oh, well, what, what can we do, you know? Um, and I think when you do your broadcast, you kind of get that same, uh, same reactions pretty much. So I don't know. I see a bunch of people taking action, but, but remember, 3% started the Revolutionary War, 5% want it. It's always a minority of evil people and a minority of good people battling for the contest of who's going to win. And so I don't let... I mean, face it, modern high school, they're, you know, they're worried about Justin Bieber. Uh, they're not worried, and Britney Spears. Uh, and, and we can break through with a Charlie Sheen thing or something like that occasionally into that mind control territory and inject real issues. Uh, but, I mean, your question specifically is, how do you get through to those people? You plant the seeds now, and later down the road, they're going to remember what you said. That's why make a YouTube video now. Write an essay now. Put your information out now so it's a testament down the road. Uh, thanks for the call. Joel Skousen, comments to Desmond. No, no comments. Great, great comment. So you think that, I mean, that basically states it? Are, are you agree with that? Well, yes, I do. I agree with what you said. Uh, I mean, he, he tries his, his best, but as I say, image is important. In coming across to people who this is new information, we've got to be credible, at least in calm, so that they're at least not able to discredit us by the virtue of, of our intensity. No, I mean, you're right. It's like when the principal comes in in a suit and he's all quiet and focused, that really gets people's attention. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way. And you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As they're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. I have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Go solar for cheap. Want to use solar power but the price is too high? Now you can build your own solar panels for less than $200 at 123CheapSolar.com. Don't laugh. We've sold over 45,000 solar do-it-yourself kits. Watch the step-by-step -step videos that even non-handyman types can use. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to 123CheapSolar.com or call 800-713-0486. 800-713-0486. Reduce your foreign oil dependency when you go green with 123CheapSolar.com. Hi.